Now in this video, we're going to be looking at the belongs to relationship. So if I just go into my database, I have a I have a Laravel installation set up here. I haven't touched it at all. All I've done is create a database. So here in my database, I have an articles table and a users table, both very generic. Now here, if we have a look at our articles table, you'll see that it contains a user ID column. And this is referencing the ID of the user who posted the article. So in this case, the article Hello World has a user ID of one, which means Terry posted the article because he's the guy, he's the user, at least with the ID of one. Now, in this case, this hello article posted by the user with an ID of two was posted by Alex. So the point of this video is to demonstrate the uh, belongs to relationship. So what I'm going to do is create an article model. So save it as article.php. We're going to say PHP class article extends eloquent, very basic stuff. And that's all we need there. So in our in our default route, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to echo at call all. And if we open this up in our browser, we're going to see a JSON output of our articles. Now, instead of doing this, I'm going to create an article view. So article.blade.php. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to store all articles in a variable and then what I'm going to do is return view make at calls with at calls at calls and I actually just noticed that I named this wrong so let's uh, rename that to at calls so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep things very basic I'm not going to use any layouts or anything like that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to say for each articles as article. I'm going to say h1 article title. I think that's what I called it. Yep. And then I'm going to say in a paragraph tag article body. So back in our browser, hit refresh. And there we go. We get our very ugly looking article list. So what I want to do now is I want to next to the header tag here or the at call title, I want to say something like posted by dot dot dot. And that's going to look like that. So how do we go about doing this? Well, what we could do is add a method to our article class called uh, get poster username. And here, what we're going to do is return a user where user ID. So user where ID equals this user ID. And then we're going to return first and then we're going to return the username. So what we can do now is say article get poster username. And this should work perfectly or not. Uh, oh, we, we named that field name. Okay, that works fine, except it's not exactly very practical. In a, in a large application, you're going to have tons of these little methods that you're going to need to add all over the place. So instead, what we're going to do is use a eloquent relationship. So we're going to rename this to user or we could call it poster. I'm going to keep it simple and call it user for now. And instead of returning that silly query, we're going to return this belongs to, and then we're going to provide the name of the model for the users table, which in this case is user. So hit refresh and we get, oh, we didn't change the method in our view. So what we're going to do instead is return at call user. Now, the observant viewers amongst you will have noticed that we're actually referencing a property here where we defined a function in our model. Laravel uses 
something called magic methods to make things a bit easier for ourselves, which we'll go into a bit later in the series. But for now, to make things easier on yourself, you can reference the property uh, of the same name as the method. So if we go to our browser and hit refresh, you're going to see this, this uh, full JSON array or object of our user. And obviously we don't want that. Instead, what we want to do is reference the name. So we can do that by simply adding on name. Hit refresh and there you have it. That is how to use the belongs to relationship.